Hi everybody, Andy here with eTrailer.com and today we're going to take a look at this Blue Ox Acclaim non-binding tow bar. Now this tow bar is different than your other more traditional tow bars because rather than sliding into a hitch receiver on the back of your RV, this is going to attach to a two inch ball mount. And uh, as you can see, we have our coupler right here. So this is just going to drop down on your two inch ball mount on the back of your RV. And the other uh, difference that this tow bar has is its storage position. When you're not flat towing your vehicle, this is going to store attached to your vehicle's base plates instead of the more traditional tow bars that slide into the receiver on the back of your motorhome and fold up and store on the back of your motorhome. Now, one of the big reasons why you would want a tow bar that stays with your vehicle is if you do a lot of RV deliveries and you need to bring your vehicle to the location you're delivering the RV to. This tow bar will allow you to hook your vehicle up to the back of whatever you're going to be delivering and bring your vehicle with you. And when you get to that location, you're just going to disconnect from the tow bar from the RV and store it on the front of your towed vehicle and you're going to be on your way. Other folks really like this tow bar uh, with it being on the front of the vehicle because they find it much faster when hooking up to their motorhome with everything staying on the vehicle side. They can just drop the coupler down and it's going to click right onto that two inch hitch ball. Now compared to um, some of the other traditional tow bars, this is going to be a more economical solution for you. So if you're looking to save a little bit of money, this is, this is gonna also be a great option for you to consider. Now, this has a weight capacity of 5,000 pounds, and this weighs a little over 35 pounds or so, so it is a, a manageable uh, weight uh, for a tow bar. And the non-binding latches are going to make this easy to unhook on any terrain. You're simply going to press down on the handles of the tow bar, uh, and on the, the handles on the tow bar arms until the internal latch uh, disengages, as you see there. And this is going to allow you to release some of that static pressure uh, from the tow bar. So it's, you can move the arms just enough um, to make disconnecting from the base plates a snap, even when it's not level on your RV. Now these telescoping arms will make for a fast, easy hookup. And if you notice, we have these rubber boots here that are going to protect those telescope, uh, telescoping arms from dirt and debris. Now this features a self-aligning design, and you're just going to uh, hook this up to the uh, base plates on your towed vehicle and drive your RV forward. And then the arms are going to extend into rigid tow ready position and automatically center and lock into place. Now the triple lug um, brackets, let me turn these so hopefully you can get a view of them here, um, are going to give you a reinforced connection point for your base plates. Each arm attaches and detaches from your base plates with two uh, easy to access pins. So as you can see, just remove the, the pin there and that's going to allow you to hook this up to your base plate. Now, this tow bar is going to fit uh, Blue Ox base plates that are spaced between 23 inches and 30 inches apart on center. And um, it can be also be adapted for use with Roadmaster crossbar style base plates with the uh, model number of the adapter that you see there on your screen. So if you need to use this with Roadmaster crossbar style base plates, you will need that adapter there that you see there at the bottom of your screen. Now the arm length uh, from the center of the hitch ball to the um, center of the base plate pinhole when lined up with the arm straight 
We have the extended length at 42 and 3 quarters inches and the retracted at 32 and a half inches. These do also come with vinyl coated safety cables and these also have a 5,000 pound weight rating and these are going to provide added protection should this tow bar ever become disconnected during towing and we have these steel S hooks that's going to connect each cable to your towed vehicle's base plates and your motor home's trailer hitch. Now this is going to allow for pretty easy storage as I mentioned at the beginning of our time together. I'm going to go ahead and leave those uh, pins uh, out uh, for right now and I just want to walk you through how you can store this. And this is going to work a little bit easier um, when this is actually hooked up to the the base plate so um, keep that in mind when you see me struggling with this uh, a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and release the tensions, the tension in our uh, arms here to make them um, so they can move and adjust. And then I'm going to remove this pin here, or this clip rather, from this pin. And then to store this, what you're going to do is disconnect uh, this toe arm on the driver's side base plate, like I've already done. I removed the pins there. And you want to keep the tow bar connected to the passenger side base plates. And then um, you're going to obviously uh, disconnect from your uh, two inch ball there at the coupler side. And then you're just going to rotate this like so. And then I'm going to rotate uh, this end here of the bracket and just line up the holes here with this pin and again this is going to uh, be a little bit easier when this is on the base plate so I'm, al I'm already in there I'm going to run my clip through and so this is together and then you are going to then rotate this to the front of your vehicle like so and then you'll use this the pin and the clip to attach that to the driver's side base plate. So that's really all there is to store this. And let me go ahead and turn this back around. And um, so this will store easily on the front of your vehicle and it'll be ready for you to use um, the next time that you are ready to flat tow. This is made here in the USA of heavy duty steel construction. So it is very uh, durable and it's going to be very long lasting for you. And this does also feature a uh, powder coat to help resist that rust and corrosion. Instructions are also included and that's going to conclude our look today. I do hope that it was helpful for you. Again, my name is Andy. Thank you for joining me.